So yeah. that, how'd you find it? I mean, I just, I was in shape today, but I mean, I'm struggling with tactical races. Been struggling all my career. And to be honest, from yesterday, I struggled a little bit with the fast pace. So I am in the 800. And I honestly told my coach, like, I think I'm in better 800 shape than 1500 shape. So um, I'm ready to just compete. And honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if I become an 800 runner later in my career. I'm ready to, to perform. And, you know, I'm. I think I'll do well. So moving into that eight, then what do you take from that sort of race to, to change things up and maybe press I a bit further? I can't fight. Uh, I try to fight. I fail. I fight. I fail. I fight. And you know, I mean, I told myself, you know, I like. There's just so many ways the 15 can happen, and I'm in shape, and I just struggle sometimes tactically. You know, I should have relaxed, not fight. I feel like I'm the type of runner. If I have one move, I do well. And I did like 50 moves and I failed and it's all execution. I ran a dumb race. I deserve not to qualify. And I'm like, whatever, you know, I'm about to shock the world and I feel like I'm going to do an event I'm better at and we'll see. 800's coming up and I won my last eight in a 145 and I believe I'm in 144 shape. So we'll see what happens. When did you start to think you were more of an 800 runner? It's just like, I just struggle in strength workouts. I know aerobically, I'm probably one of the weaker runners out there. Not the weakest aerobically. I just don't do well in tempos. And I do think I have a lot of speed, but sometimes I just struggle to do the sitting kick. Like it works well when I get my positioning, but when I'm scrambling, it's hard. And I like to be in races where all the four guys are ahead of me and I get to run them down. Now I'm the strongest guy instead of the aerobically weakest. So that's what I want. When you were 200 meters to go, what were you thinking today? I just, I knew I was fucking up by uh, struggling to, uh, you know, be in position. I felt great, but I thought it was going to be a fast race. I was like, I'm running, ready to run 334. And the one thing I realized is trials is unpredictable. Who would have thought? This is what I thought the first round was going to be. And the first round is what I thought the second round was going to be. And I like 800 where... I know what's going to happen. People aren't going to go on 55. So people are going to go out hard and it's predictable. And I feel like all the runners look like me where I sometimes I'm like, shit, dude, I feel like I have three pounds in everyone. So we'll see. I, I'm going to give them my all in the eight. And I think I can get farther in the eight than the 15. And I think I'll always run the 15 mile, but I'm like, I kind of am always like a mile who always wanted to be the eight. So We'll see. This is an opportunity. I think I can get farther in the, the 800 than the 15. And, you know, we'll see what happens. So, Did you ever think of leading it yourself today if you wanted to foster race? I thought about doing it. It just, it's just, you know, when you're in the moment, you're just trying to relax. You think Cocker's going to take it. I should have known because, like, who runs 334.5 in the first round? You know, everyone's probably a little tired. And I should have expected it to be a slow race. I think if I took the lead, I think I would have made it. But, you know, that's all in hindsight now. And all I'm going to do, I'm not even going to be sad. I'm just going to get uh, focused. And I'm excited for the eight because this is the first time in uh, my entire life I run an eight at a big meet. And I'm going to show everyone I can run an eight. And honestly, one thing that keeps me in the sport is the Michael Johnson League because... I want my main goal in the sport is to prove that I'm one of the I'm the strongest 15800 runner, and hopefully I can prove that. Fortunately today, technically I ran bad, but uh, you know I think as long as I can financially make the sport work, I'll be around in four years. So maybe we'll try this again. But uh, yeah, I'll thank you. All right.